Let's talk about the safety of using medications like Viagra and Cialis for erectile dysfunction. Now, one of the most common worries that, that patients ask me about when they're starting these medications are, isn't this going to, to cause problems with my heart or a risk that I, that I have a heart attack or something if I take these medications? And that's essentially just not true. The reason why you hear about these rumors or these myths essentially is only in a specific cohort of patients. You're talking about patients with a significant history of heart disease who are already taking medications uh, for chest pain, typically patients who don't really do any exercise on a regular basis, taking these types of medications and then having sex, which is more exercise than they usually have on a regular basis. And that in combination with the other medications that they're taking for their heart can be potentially fatal in these men. Now, if you exclude that cohort of men who probably should have never been prescribed that type of medication to begin with for erectile dysfunction, and you just look at your run-of-the-mill average American man who might have some high blood pressure, high cholesterol, even, even if they have a history of heart disease that's totally been controlled and they're not taking any medications for it, the Viagra and Cialis are, are perfectly safe. Essentially, these medications were designed as blood pressure medicines. So all they really do is open up the, the blood vessels in the penis to allow more blood flow. And there is some thought that they might actually be cardioprotective or decrease the risk of cardiac events. And there was actually a, a study published on this. It was published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine in 2023 out of a group based at UC San Francisco, where they basically retrospectively looked at a cohort of over 20,000 men who have been taking these medications and compared them to a control group of nearly 50,000 men who had never taken these medications over a, a three-year period. And basically just retrospectively looked at the, at the chart and the, the data to see which group of men had higher rates of cardiac events, meaning stroke, heart attack, that type of thing. And interestingly, the group of men who were taking those medications, Viagra and Cialis, had a lower rate of these types of, of events. And that seemed to suggest that there's some cardioprotective effect of the Viagra and Cialis. Now, those are retrospective data, uh, so it's hard to really conclude that there's a, there's a causative effect, that these medications are, in fact, what cause these men to have fewer issues. But it, it does suggest that and it at least suggests that these medications don't increase the rate of, of cardiac events. So I'm not a cardiologist, I don't prescribe these medications for, for patients to avoid heart disease, but if a patient is taking the medication as prescribed and it's the right patient who doesn't have major cardiac history, then it's, it's perfectly safe and the, the myth that this is going to cause a heart attack or, or heart disease uh, really ha has no basis. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.